Vibrant viewers, welcome to Planet Earth, Our Loving Home. In honor of Universal Children's Day this week, we will present a two-part series featuring the perspectives of child and youth environmental leaders from around the world on climate change and their proposed solutions to this greatest challenge of our times. We need the governments to sign a global climate treaty that is ambitious, fair and binding. It's not enough just to sign any deal at all. It also has to be a good deal that safeguards the survival of all countries and peoples for the future. In 2003, the United Nations Environment Programme, or UNEP, initiated the Tanza Youth Strategy as a means of collaborating with the younger generation to help accomplish its important environmental work. Tanza, in Swahili, means to treat with care or affection. This past August, the city of Daejeon, South Korea, hosted the week-long United Nations Environment Program Tanza International Children and Youth Conference, which featured 800 participants ages 10 to 24, from over 100 countries with thousands more participating online. The goal of the conference was for the attendees to create a plan for promoting action on climate change and to develop a statement to send to the world leaders attending the Copenhagen Climate Summit this December. The event has been called the largest ever youth gathering on the issue of climate change in history. Vegetarianism reduces energy consumption. Those under 25 years of age form almost half of the world's current population, numbering almost 3 billion. This is the generation that will inherit the planet in the years to come. With climate-related disasters and other consequences of global warming ever increasing by the day, it is children who are the most at risk. Satindur Bindra, Director of the Division of Communications and Public Information for the United Nations Environment Program, shares his thoughts. In some areas there's floods, in some areas there's drought, in some areas there can be sea level rise, and when that happens, the fate of millions if not hundreds of millions is at stake. What does it mean for children? Children and youth are perhaps one of the most vulnerable. When things happen or when sea levels rise or waters come rushing or when temperatures rise, children are often the most frail, children are often the most weak. The conference participants were of diverse backgrounds, but all are impassioned about reversing climate change and served as true environmental leaders in their respective countries. One example is Yugratna Srivastava, a 13-year-old girl from Lucknow, India. In her homeland, she is active in promoting the preservation of forests and the building of roadside gardens. She is a Tanza Junior Board Member, meaning she advises the United Nations Environment Program on how to best reach out to children and youth on environmental issues. Per the request of United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, Yugratna addressed the United Nations General Assembly in New York, USA in September 2009 regarding climate change. Here is Yugratna at the Tanza Conference. By 2050, the total number of automobiles in the world will increase by 50% and 30% of the species will get extinct. So, now it is the time to act. If not here, then where? If not now, then when? If not us, then who? Climate change is a global burning issue and we need effective steps and results very soon. Global warming has turned into the global warning, and we need to have some effective measures to reduce all this. We, the children, the young people, comprising of three billion of the world, are very well aware that our governments are not taking enough steps to combat climate change. So we request adults to include our voices in their decisions, and then finally act.
Annie Collins is the Tanza Junior Board Member for the North American Region. This amazing girl set up the Sustainability Club at her school. The club designed a school garden and got all students to plant trees to help offset the CO2 in the atmosphere. Her club also set up bike racks on campus to encourage cycling to school. If you think about any other species on the planet, they are good for the environment. So basically what humans need to become is good for the environment. Not just being less bad, but actually becoming so that we are good and that we help the environment. And we're going to be the generation who are living on this planet, so we need to save the planet now because it's, this is our home and this is the only place we have to live. Trevor is an accomplished young man from Kenya. He is a presenter for a children's TV show called Angel's Cafe, shown on a local Kenyan television station. Trevor promotes the use of biodegradable bags on the program as he believes the use of plastic bags is environmentally destructive and hurts future generations. What I'd like to say to the media is, in this current millennium, it has probably the most power, so they should promote environmental awareness when they're watching television or when they're on the internet to learn about environmental activities, participation in all these activities they can do. And the media has a very strong role to play in environmental awareness and inspiring many children across the world to take action. Planet Earth, our loving home, will soon return after these brief messages with more from the Tanza International Children and Youth Conference held in South Korea. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Hello, I am Andrea from Guatemala and Save the Planet! My name is Jamali and I'm from Bermuda and if we're not going to save the world now, when? Do something good for the earth. The sea levels could rise. People on the coastal areas, especially in Africa and South America, could lose their homes. Many people can lose their homes. Climate change will also affect people all around the world. There will be more often floods and droughts and hurricanes and tsunamis and so on. Welcome back to Planet Earth, Our Loving Home, for our program on young environmental leaders and their efforts to achieve a sustainable world. From August 17 to 23 of this year, the city of Daejeon, South Korea, hosted the United Nations Environment Program Tanza International Children and Youth Conference, which featured 800 participants, ages 10 to 24, from over 100 countries with thousands more participating online. In a consensus statement entitled, Listen to Our Voices, the Future Needs Strong Vision and Leadership, conference participants called upon world leaders to seal the deal on a climate change treaty at the Copenhagen summit this December. They stated, sea level rise, desert encroachment, and warmer weather are affecting everyone and everything on the planet, especially small island states. Climate change has serious consequences not only for ecosystems, but also for human health, job security, and social development. Hola, mi nombre es Andrea Mariel y soy de México. Nosotros queremos que salven al planeta, que el gobierno luche contra el cambio climático. The statement featured 10 requests to all governments of the world. One of the requests is for the implementation of green energy and industry, including sustainable food production. The statement contains eight action items that the children and youth of the world pledge to undertake to mitigate global warming. For example, there is a promise to encourage all schools and universities to become more eco-friendly. Finally, there are seven points of appeal to the world's citizens, including asking everyone to plant more trees 
to absorb CO2. Felix Finkbeiner of Germany is 11 and takes planting trees very seriously. After watching the eco documentary on Inconvenient Truth and hearing of Nobel laureate Dr. Wangari Mathais's initiative that led to the planting of 30 million trees in 30 years, Felix decided he wanted to help every nation on Earth plant one million trees as part of Tunza's Plant for the Planet program. Mein Name ist Felix, ich bin 11 Jahre alt und komme aus Deutschland. Ich, ich bin hier im Junior Board gewählt. Letztes Jahr war diese Konferenz in Norwegen. Wir Kinder wollen Millionen von Bäumen pflanzen, eine Million Bäume in jedem Land der Welt. In Deutschland haben wir schon fast die Millionen erreicht und jetzt sind wir schon in 100 Ländern, in denen wir Bäume pflanzen. Und dann ähm, gehen wir weiter und pflanzen 10 Millionen Bäume in Deutschland oder ein höheres Ziel. Mit Bäumen können wir diese Probleme nicht lösen. Bäume helfen eine Menge, aber lösen tun sie das Problem nicht. Wir können sie nur, dieses Problem nur lösen, wenn wir die Gesetze ändern. Aber die Politiker werden erst die, werden erst die Gesetze ändern, wenn die Bürger, wenn die Wähler, also die Erwachsenen heute, wenn sie unbedingt wollen, dass das passiert. Many of the conference participants have witnessed the effects of climate change firsthand. Kwasi Arafin Rezoan of Bangladesh is studying social work at Dhaka University and is the coordinator of the Nagorik Sangati environmental group. He works to raise awareness about global warming among Bangladeshi youth living in the nation's capital of Dhaka. We are situated in Bangladesh in Bay of Bengal. We are the lowest carbon emission country, but the, f the cyclone which occur all over the world, 40% of the cyclone hits only our country. And we have a density of population near over 1,000 th per square kilometer. And we have a population of near over 15 crore. So please serve humanity. Please save the planet. We need it. I was in Greenland a year ago, and I was there in the summer. And well, it really shocked me because I went to the ice sheet and I saw that the ice sheet was melting so fast, you could really see from time to time, from year to year, that the ice sheet was decreasing, the ice was diminishing. And for example, in Uli Lusat, that place was known for its icebergs. You had the towns, you had the houses, the apartments, and then behind that you had the icebergs. But now all the icebergs are just gone. And scientists predict that within two years, the whole ice sheet will be, the glacier will be totally gone. Climate change, it's not something of the future, it's happening now. Global warming has to be a big issue over there because the temperature is increasing, recorded in highest uh, you know, temperature in Pakistan. But uh, probably uh, in everywhere it uh, seems like that. So therefore I said to my uh, present, president of Pakistan that uh, please uh, put care your consideration out of our environment because it's very necessary at this time for our climate. The young people see very well the grave risks that global warming poses to humanity and the planet. At the Tanza International Children and Youth Conference, their urgent and determined voices were heard loud and clear. They want to preserve our beautiful Earth and need world leaders to act immediately in order to save our planet. For more details on the UNEP Tanza International Children and Youth Conference, please visit www.unep.org forward slash Tanza. Eco-aware viewers, we enjoyed your company on today's program. Please join us next Wednesday for Planet Earth, Our Loving Home, featuring the second episode of our two-part series on children working towards a sustainable future. May we all be pure of heart and noble-minded. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com.
forward slash PE 